What? Why is there liquid in here? Who do you think that is? It better be sperm in there, fool! In the carnivore's world of animal eatery, there are prized parts from every creature. Beef, chicken, even fish have premium cuts of meat that enthusiastic eaters will pay top dollar for. It might be hard to mess up with something this delicious. Then there are the offcuts. WTF! Body parts that in the West get thrown in the trash. <sighs> wow. Bones? Guts. You eat this? Okay, okay. Oh, dude. Brains. Have you ever had brain before? Yeah. You have. Oh, like eating. Yeah, yeah. that too. Okay. And one cut that's especially revered in Southeast Asia, the testicles. Did she just say testicles? She did say testicles. Ma'am, that's exactly what we're here for. Today we're on a hero's mission. Oh. Showing that the unlikeliest of proteins has the power and the potential to rise above. Not just becoming tolerable, but crave-worthy and delicious. This is a dish you don't have to have the courage for. This is a dish that everybody's gonna wanna eat. So how do these chefs do it? Let's find out. Hello, YouTube.com. Welcome to another fun food video. Calvin, Sunny, there is a pandemic going on, and I'm not talking about the coronavirus. Which one is it? This new trend on YouTube called eating only fill in the blank for 24 hours. So like chicken, like pork. Sometimes it's just about a color of food. That's a trend. So today we're gonna join the trend and we're gonna obliterate the trend. After this video, the trend is over. Over. Wait, are you pumped? I'm pumped. Do you know what we're eating? No. Testicles. I can't. Wait. <laughs> In today's challenge, we're gonna try four different pairs of cojones. I'm talking breakfast. Breakfast. I'm talking lunch. Lunch. I'm talking about afternoon snack. Litter. <laughs> I'm talking about late night snack. Ladder. <laughs> Ladder. Let's do it. Handshake. Handshake. Yeah. 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 Ball. Ball. Our 24-hour challenge starts with hutu. Calvin, how's your Vietnamese? A staple rice noodle soup only available in southern Vietnam. My Vietnamese on a scale of 1 to 10. Eaten with a variety of meats. Nine and a half. Really? No. No. <laughs> Here, they serve it with goat. Xin chào chị. Yeah. yeah. Through me. Oh, OK. Hi, người, yeah? Yeah. Hey. I'm not only a translator. I eat balls. Their secret weapon, the broth. This shimmering soup is used to cook all the goat parts. But deep down, there's one part that's only available for those who seek it out and who order it in advance. I think it's a kind of a challenging part of the animal. Can you talk to us? What's your approach? What's your strategy? You can bring that down to a simple It's going to be really short. <laughs> Testicles are usually braised in Chinese herb, but here they just steam it lightly. Last question. Today, how <laughs> night? Let me do the whole thing. <laughs> Are you confident that you have the best testicles in town? Think about them. Là Ngọc Dương của chị là ngon nhất. Không có đi qua mấy cái quán khác mà không biết nhưng mà mình rất là tự tin là ok nhất cái khu vực này. So humble. She's not sure if her testicles will stand up to the top of the city, but she knows it will be number one. I got a chunk here. It looks pretty good, actually. Is there any bones in yours? I ordered boneless. Got it. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. The lotness, the skin has a great texture. Yeah, it's fatty. Like, the fat is starting to render down and sticks to the sides of your mouth. It's great that it's nose to tail. Like, they're using every part of the animal. There's no wastage here. I legitimately like that. In the US, what do you think they're doing with a bull's gonads? They're the sending US? it to Vietnam. Frozen. <laughs> what? Why is there liquid in here? Who do you think that is? It better be sperm in there, fool. Okay, you're making people less hungry now. So the last episode that we were in together, you brought sliced bull testicles to the table, and I really enjoyed it. Let's see it's gonna be the same way. Creamy. It is less gelatinous than maybe the outer part. Really? Oh, it breaks apart like a pate. The question is, I like it. what is it? It's, yeah, I don't know, it's something from inside there. Calvin, let's talk about you for a second. Okay. Calvin grew up in California, then moved to Vietnam 11 years ago. Now, he runs his own Korean-inspired taco joint called El Camino. Is this something you would consider putting into a taco? I would really honestly get my hands on this and make a taco. Would you consider putting that on your menu? I would call it the Sunny Special. The Sunny Special? What an honor. I mean, not because of you, though. Oh. Our second treat is hidden inside here. Sir? 
a local hotspot offering a huge variety of Japanese seafood. Today, we're focused on testicles. Using ingredients imported straight from Hokkaido, Japan. Oh God, don't turn around. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> So is this it? This is the cod sack? No, I... This is extracted from the male codfish during its mating season. It's not really a testicle, is it? What is it? Bing wang. Bing wang. Oh, oh so it's called bing wang. Question was, what's that in English? Cod cod. cod. <laughs> Serious, it's called cod cod. We can't use the C word. Oh, cod sp <laughs> The fish industry refers to this as milk. It almost actually, it looks like a chicken intestine. It looks like monkey brains to me. Oh, uh, I've never seen that. Have you? Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Ah, I think those were made out of jello. No, they were. Oh, maybe they were. Sir, I can't wait to try it out. Okay. Yeah. Translate? Yeah. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Today, Chef Duke will prepare three different courses, fish milk soup, fish milk tempura, and an appetizer to help us ease into this new ingredient, a fish milk cocktail. What exactly is in here? This is the most awkward martini I've ever seen. Chicken not stirred, I like to, to call it. This dish starts with a beef steak leaf. Add ponzu sauce, shredded radish, salmon eggs, flying fish eggs, and finally, chopped scallion. This spoonful has everything on it. I've got the... Fish roe With the sperm. Oh, actually, oh my God. Is this safe? We're putting eggs with sperm in our stomach. You might get pregnant tonight. <laughs> wow, spicy. Is that why you coughed? Mm, so savory, the umami factor, and the ponzu cuts with the bass. That's really good. Mm, I love the salmon roe, just kind of feeling those pop in my mouth. But these, main big star right here. Mm, it's really meaty. I like it a lot. <laughs> I do too. There's momentary flashes of feeling a little awkward that my mouth is filled up with that. But then I just go to a happier place. Boom, course number two. Round two, a seaweed broth. Add sake, mirin sauce, and crab roe paste. Then the fun sack, along with Nameko mushrooms. Finally, crab meat and some greens to garnish. Is there like a scientific, like a uh, sperm sack? There's plenty of our special ingredient in there. <laughs> Today's special ingredient is. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop up some of the broth, some of these mushrooms, and our special ingredient. Oh, cheers. Mm. The first one was kind of cold. This is quite warm, and it's really changed the texture of it. It's interesting because it's the same ingredient approached completely differently. Instead of being kind of sour, salty, and cold, it's super savory, warm, and gushy. And gushy. Our final dish gets straight to the point. Fish milk coated with flour and dipped in batter, along with mushrooms and perilla leaves. They take a hot bath in some oil, and that's it. What I like here is they've fried a little bit of everything. Even the leaves here have been fried. That's my kind of salad. We've got some soy sauce. Let's give it a dip. Mmm. Oh. And that's different yet again. Yeah. It's a little bit crunchy, but soft on the inside. It's almost like eating a marshmallow that's not sweet, but not savory. Just kind of heavy. So, turns out fish, no testicles, but they do have sperm sacs. We tried it right now. Gotta say, dang delicious. Real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. Yeah. We're at your restaurant. This is kind of a drinking restaurant, right? Yeah. Here they're bringing flavors of Vietnam's north, 1,000 miles south to Saigon. Number 96 wields a unique delicacy known as okay. Chicken testicles stir-fried in burnt garlic. Oh, that sounds nice. Delicious. 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 This food starts with oil, garlic, boiled bullocks, and fire. Most of what we had today, I've tried in some form. I've never had chicken testicles. In garlic? In garlic. Have you had it? Yes, it's like eating a Canterbury egg, but not, but not chocolate. <laughs> Add a mixture of oyster sauce, soy sauce, and chili sauce. Are there any benefits to eating this? Okay, that's, I don't know if he's translating properly what I said. It's very nutritious. Ah. Oh, okay. For color, scallions, leeks, and shredded onion. Finally, a bit more sizzle and fire. Now, I've had it before, and it does get warm and creamy. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Here we go. It's like a little fleshy grape. I mean, very fatty. The flavor is outstanding. It's just getting used to the texture. Yeah. Here's a giant one. Let's go for it. 
overwhelming. It's almost like a membrane full of really fatty, rich chicken soup, a chicken custard. Yeah, right. How many chicken had to give their lives up for this dish? Don't you think about that when you eat chicken wings too, though? Not until now. When you eat like 20 chicken wings and you're like, wow, that was delicious. Flying. I was hoping throughout the day people would be talking or bragging about the male stamina that we'd be getting. But next, we're gonna have some bull testicles. It's the biggest, the brawniest, the veiniest. Ugh. I've tried this, um, ingredient in Hong Kong. Oh no, mine still has a hair. What is that? Don't put your food under a microscope. I've even tried it in Namibia. Each place has their own traditional method of preparation and their own ideas about the food's health benefits. It's a belief that um, the strength of a bull is in its balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that was the best way to say it. Next, we'll see how it's done in Vietnam. Xin chào, an. <laughs> I think we've maxed out the capacity of your kitchen. What's the most people you usually have in here? Usually it's only three. We have five right now. But we're gonna do it, and we're gonna survive. Shh, is that a lemon? Our house, this is our rooster. That, 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 that dead home. Welcome to the restaurant, humbly known as 146A, a place specializing in bull testicle preparation since the 90s. Here you have your own take on the bull testicles. How do you make them here? Tobin, Tobin. Why are you saying that? Like I know what that means. Oh, that's what they call the dish. Oh, it's called Tobin. 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 Great, so um, what does that mean? Here, we'll be trying two different dishes of the testicular variety. It's originally from China, and now we're making it here in Vietnam. This pair has been boiled and chopped to pieces before being raised in 12 different kinds of medicinal herbs and spices. This part of the body, not that commonly eaten. Why are people coming here to taste your balls? Eating his balls because of the Chinese medicinal herbs that give you mm -hmm. extra power. Is it manpower? Probably. 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 <laughs> this other pear is also chopped up, but cooked in hot oil with chili oil, bell peppers, and onions. Finally, a dash of oyster sauce and molasses. Sir, I'm very excited. Thank you for your wisdom. High five. Okay, high five. High five. Okay, high five. Okay. There right. you go. This is our final course, our final creature, our final testicular meal. Should we try it out? We should try it out. All right, cheers. Okay. How do you feel? One to two percent more manly. It tastes like tendon. It's gamey. It's gelatinous. I hardly even know I'm eating a testicle. That's delicious. There's a genuine culinary merit here. True. It's an item that's not so popular, especially in the West, and they've just made an art out of it. True. This guy really knows what he's doing. He does his great walk. Hey. Mm, right. Finally, there is one more. Unveil it. Ooh, nice reveal. There is the penis. Oh, there's penis in here too. Can you scoop me up? I can. Would you like some penis? Yeah, please. So I've got a slice of ball here. These slices, much smaller. Yeah. Mmm. What? Very different. I feel healthier just having that. The inside, it's like a chalky egg yolk almost. It is. It's not what you would expect. You know, today, the one that is the most what you would expect was like the chicken testicles. Yes. Juicy, full of fat, kind of exploding, creamy. This one, it's nothing like that. No, not at all. It's really well made. Listen, we both love it. We do. But we do have an encore right here. We got a little bit of pe- We got a little bit of penis. Hey, well done. We made it, man. 24 hours eating nothing but testicles. It's time for dessert. You ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Penis is good. I didn't think 24 hours of eating testicles would be that much fun, but I had a great time on the show. I'm super impressed with the variety we had today. And it wasn't just Vietnamese. We have a touch of Chinese, of Japanese, all these different Asian cuisines with their own take on this really unique ingredient. I'm not impressed by someone who's like, you know what I cook? Chicken wings. This is like, hey, I took the testicle, yep, and I made it absolutely delicious. That deserves an applause. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Part of being culinarily woke, like me, is to not allow societal ideals to creep into your mind and change your behavior. Balls. It's easy to write them off, easy to dismiss them as disgusting or cheap. But once you open your heart and open your mouth, once you take a chance and realize how beautiful balls can be, you'll start to wonder how many other foods you took at face value and judged prematurely.
best ever food review show, Bandanas, for you and your entire extended family. Now you can finally stop the sweat on hot days or important job interviews. You can cover up your receding hairline. You can pretend to be the karate kid. You can lead a summit on climate change. You can hide from your responsibilities. You could hide that embarrassing tattoo. Or you can look like the world's most lovable food review show host. Oh, wow. For each order, you will receive three bandanas in three different colors. Red, black, and white. This is a one-of-a-kind, unique design you will only find on our website. Visit our store and check out all of our merch at shopbesteverfood.com. As for us, that is it for this one. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching. A peace. All right. Dude, I'm telling you, testicle I'm, topics I'm a great balls, idea. Man. Do you have the I balls do. to do it? I, I have two. Well, do you I've have got a lot.